Morning boys and girls, bass players, celloists, horn enthusiasts, all you folks out there in Cyberland, we are here for our 11th session on writing for horns. And our last session we had talked about um, uh, diatonic passing chords and we were getting into going to get into more of that kind of stuff. Um, half step slides and diminished passing. And just to review a little bit, uh, with our diatonic passing, you remember that if there's a note that's not in our chord, then we're gonna, that requires us to use a passing chord. So let's review real quick. Here's our treble clef. And let's say our chord is F major seventh, okay? And let's say that our uh, melody note is C. And if we just go down to a block, There it is, and let's say that we're going up to our next note in the melody is a D. Um, <clears throat> then the D, we would use a two passing, and the two chord in F is G minor. G minor is the two chord in the key of F. Everybody moves, we have good voice leading. Uh, and then if we can, let's say the next melody note was a uh, an E, which is in the F major 7th chord, then we're back to uh, an F major 7th, and everybody moves, and we're good. So that's basically diatonic. We could also use a 5 chord if we wanted uh, as a diatonic passing. Uh, 2 seems to work really well for most, for most cases. So let's try a diminished passing. So here's a treble clef down here, and let's stay with F major 7th, okay? And let's say our melody note again is, let's say it's C. Uh, let's say that's a half, and let's say we go like this, okay? For some reason, I love to go up the scale. <laughs> anyway, so... This time we're going to use a diminished passing. The only problem with diminished, anytime you use a diminished chord, uh, it doesn't define um, key center. It's uh, diminished chords are kind of ambiguous. They don't really define anything. And if you look at it closely, you'll discover that there's only three diminished chords. Uh, everything else is an inversion. So let's do this. Let's do a diminished. So off off a D, our diminished chord would be. Well, in, in F major, we have one flat, right, in the key of F. So with our diminished, this is going to be a B natural, okay? And then we have our next note would be an A flat, and then we have F, and we have D again, okay? And that would be our, this would be, well, pick your poison. It's either a a D diminished, a B diminished, A flat diminished, or F diminished. It's 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 a symmetrical shape. Um, it's all minor thirds. So let's just say it's uh, since we went up to a D, it's a D, it's a D diminished. This is your diminished. Okay, diminished seventh. Okay, uh, and then <clears throat> if we continue up, our next chord would be uh, E is in, is the major seventh. So that would be. That would be like that, okay? Notice there's a half step at the bottom. I usually don't worry about that too much if the chords are moving quickly. A lot of times stuff moves so by, by so fast that you don't even see it. If they're going, if they're going ba do da 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 do boo ba da ba do, you know, you're not gonna hear it. If they're holding a note, I would maybe be more concerned about that half step at the bottom and I might tweak it and, and make it a D, you know, uh, but if chords are moving rather quickly, a lot of stuff happens really fast, like let's say a standard bebop tune. Um, let's try it. Let's try another one here. Let's try uh, a C major seventh chord, um, and let's say our note is E. So we spell down the C major seventh chord down from there, and and then let's say the next one is an F. Now if I, oh, 
the egg timer. <laughs> if I was really having my way with things, this the D, I mean the F there is a perfect opportunity to use a diatonic passing, and that's what I would use because that would that defines key center and it's more more uh and, but it also depends on what set what, what you want what color you want but if we're just for sake of example f uh d and this would be a b natural now that's not going to work for a while because you got two your 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 third voice is going to be repeat from a b natural to a b natural uh not 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 my choice but here's a flat is here okay and here's f again Okay, and there you have it. There's a there's a diminished. A lot of times you see diminished a lot in certain kind of stuff like playing piano. Uh, you'll go like C, D minor, uh, E flat diminished, C seven over E. You know you see that kind of thing a lot, especially in blues. Uh, the next session we're going to get into half step slide and which works terrific for blues and as a really I like using half step slides a lot for certain style they're very stylistic in a way so until then don't forget shoot me an email it's fredstickleymusic.com uh, and I would love to hear from you and thanks for stopping by talk to you soon <music>